OK, let's check out our deploy visualization. We can see that the preview panel is bigger than our layout, but we'll pin this to a new tile anyways. I'm gonna make a shared tile opening an LG panel, so a large one, just like our visualization's layout. Now that I got my new tile somewhere around here, let me just test it. OK, it's working, so I'm gonna edit the tile and copy it to my dedicated E1 Devices page. I'll also make sure the roles my user uses are assigned to the new tile copy. And there it is, working just fine. I can monitor my E1 device from my IFR connected portal and that's really cool. But what about adding more E1 devices? That's actually pretty simple. I can use parameter replacing in my visualization so it can work for any new E1 device as long as it has the same signal names. So let's make our visualization ready for multiple devices. Back in IFR Designer, I'll add the device name to my overview tab header. Here I'll define my E1 device parameter, which will be replaced in IFR Connected with the actual name of the E1 device. Next, I need to use this parameter in all signals driving my visualization. So the name of my device signals all include the device name. And for any new device of the same type, only this name section of the signal name will be changing. So I can easily replace the device name part of the signal name with my new parameter and use it to compose my signal name. And I'm gonna do this for all the components driven by E1 signals. Once that's done, I'll just make a new build and publish it. Now, going back to IFR Connected, it's clear that my updated visualization is not working, since my new parameter is not replaced by IFR Connected. It's visible in the panel title, but also none of our signals actually work. So let's make this last configuration. I'll edit my device style again, and this time I'm gonna give it as title the name of my first E1 device. Next, I'll open the parameter selector section, and here I need to pass my new parameter as a standard URL parameter. In the URL field, I'll edit the URL pointing to my deployed visualization, and extend it with my new parameter. You can see that the parameter I pass in this URL is exactly the same parameter defined in the i4 Designer visualization between the square brackets. Then there is the assigned parameter value, which is the name of my E1 device. Let's save this and see it working. You can see that my parameter is now replaced with a value I've passed in the URL, both in the title and in all device signals. And now comes the magic part. If I need to monitor more of the same E1 devices, I don't actually need to do anything to my visualization to adapt it for any new device. I'll just duplicate this tile over here, place it on the same page, edit its name and value of the parameter. So for my new Web Factory 2 device, I'll just pass this new name. Now when I open my visualization from this new tile, the whole signal configuration is adjusted to match my new E1 device. And I can do this on and on for each new device that I'm adding to my system. No need to touch that visualization ever again. Ok, I hope you've learned a thing or two about how to set up E1 devices and IFR connected, how to create monitoring visualizations for them, and most important, how to reuse the same visualization over and over again for all your devices. I'm Alex, this is WebFactory i4, and I'll catch you in the next video guide. Stay safe.